Uh, okay, back with another Fat Finger demo. Last time I tried to do this, it took about 20 minutes and I streamed it instead of recording it. So now I'm going to quickly do it again. I've already got it all set up. Uh, we are talking about emoji support in Emacs, which is kind of a stupid, pointless type of thing. But I saw this video, this guy here. That says 10 years of love for Emacs undone by a week of VS Code, and one of the reasons he gives is, let's see if this works. Uh, it doesn't have emoji support. I really need emojis in my editor. A bunch. Okay, if you didn't hear it, he says, I really need emoji support. Uh, it doesn't have emoji support. I really need emojis in my editor. Okay, first of all, let's take a look at this. This is without any setting up any other packages. That looks like an emoji, that looks like an emoji. So, yeah, probably just didn't set up his Emacs to use Unicode. And if you have a Unicode, you have a Unicode font, and it will work fine. Yeah, so the black and white emojis. So you say, I need color emojis. So there's a package for that. And I'll show you how I got it set up. First things first, and global. Log mode. <laughs> Let's open up. First, let's get something. Get that going. Give it any background noise that might be here. And what do we want here is. Knit. That'll work. And I've already got this set up for you because I said I streamed it by accident last time. Like that. So, inside of superfluous eye candy, we have color emojis using the package Emojify. And what I was doing the last time is I set it up that if we are using um, if we're using a GUI, then we should be using the image display types, which is actually takes a PNG and puts it into the browser, into the Emacs browser, what are we talking about? Uh, and if you're in not a browser, in not a GUI, it will give you Unicode, the raw Unicode characters. But it's more than that. It's better than that. I'll show you in a second what I'm talking about. And we're turning on global Emojify mode. So I turned it off before. Let's get it back on. Global Emojify mode. Let's go back to our thumbnail here. Oh, we got these emojis. But wait a minute. There's something. These are really ugly. So let's go back here. Another thing I want to use is... That Q. Emoji. Oh, so let's get here. Fi. Emoji Fi. Style. And let's. I don't think that is it. So let's take a look at what the variable is. Emoji fi. Emoji set is what I wanted. Okay. Emoji. Emoji fi. Emoji fi. Emoji. Emoji set. And this I want to be emoji. One, two, two point six. I'm not. I think I'm not sure what that minus twenty two is. It's probably the size of the emoji. So that should get that set up nice. And now let's go back. And back to our thumbnail bunny. And you see now the emojis look a little bit nicer here. Not sure exactly why they're so small. They're about the size of these guys. Hmm. Let's describe the face and find out why. No? Describe face. Weird. 
So if you can see down in the mini buffer, it's showing you what the raw emoji is. Oh, wait, I talked about that also in... Oh, wait, there's something that I wanted to see. Oh, wait, how many times can I say, oh, wait. Now, these let you insert raw emojis, but you can also do GitHub style emojis. So let's uh, put in a bear. B-E-A-R. And it replaces them. And if you go over, it shows you what that is. So I can do thumbs up. No. Um, I don't know. I don't remember these type of things. I don't use them so much. Wait, I don't remember. But I can do this. I can do emojify. Insert emoji. Thumb up sign. And I can do I can do the Unicode and the GitHub. We can do all these stupid rainbow ones. And there's also there's an ASCII one too, which for some reason not showing up. Maybe there's no ASCII one. There are the ASCII emojis. Thumbs up. Yeah, thumbs up, get up. Yep, so thumb up though, thumbs up. I wish they showed up a little bit bigger. Let's see if I put it down here. It isn't a comment, so if I show a bear, same size. But if I let's see if I make them bigger. Nice big bear. Oh, this is what I did before that locked it up. What is that that makes it lock up? Get rid of you. This is something that you need to do. Uh, kill all... What is this sig? If your Emacs ever gets stuck, you can send a kill all USR one should SR two maybe and it should unlock it. Here. Don't know what that was. Again. Why do they keep locking up? I think I made it maybe too big, too small, something. Ah, here it came back. Okay, so let's control X, control minus, and let's get back to a normal looking size. And you see what they have in emojis. What was in the middle of doing? Oh, it's taking a long time. See, this is what that finger demos. Not as bad as what I did last time. Well, last time really messed it up. So what do we got here? Let's go back to init.org, see what we got here. Color emojis. Yay. Level. Nice. Oh, but you can't there because it's in the headline. So we got devil. Come on. Smile. Here. Now you got a nice emoji there. Um, and I set them up to use the this set. What else did I want to do? Show you how it works in the terminal. Well, I had another terminal up, so let's do a max. Max. Yep. And what do you know? We've got emac. We've got emojis here too, and we can, yeah, let's steal it. And then we can add cats, a uh, cat, and it replaces them. Now this requires that you have uh, UTF fonts installed in your installed in your uh, terminal for this to work. And there's also something else that you need to yes. 
you then to make, so, make sure that's set up, but you need to say that the terminal, the terminal coding system also needs to be UTF-8. So that's about it, getting emojis to work. No reason to go to VS Code for emojis. Obviously, you could also install a UTF, a UTF font that has emojis, and that'll work too. So I've done that in the past. This has the added bonus of converting converting these guys I don't know why that sometimes it does work and sometimes it doesn't it's, it's, it's probably I don't know all these things there's also we have the emoji and I can quickly add emojis like this so let's get all the cats All the different cats that we want, we can copy them, paste them. Gotta cry out with this cat. I like this cat. Let's get the GitHub version. And then we can go back here and get some other guys if we wanted to. Cat. And great. Great. Good. Uh, so that's how about how you get emojis into your Emacs easily and you can it you can use you can use the Twitter set of emojis if you want and you can also use custom emojis and there's a way for defining them so you can use your own images uh, and it will convert them make them into how it's supposed to go and it's nice stuff uh, so they, you can take a look at there at the package uh, I'll also post a link to this that guy's video that's complaining about Emacs not being good and you can you can let him know what you think about that. Or don't let him know. Need to get those emojis working. That's... Need to get it working. I'll let you know about how that works. Or something. Or this will go up on the GitHub. Uh, something's not working with my brain today. Call to.